Uh, CClear is a retention project that was created by VSU in 1998. What CClear stands for is the Southeast Asian Campus Learning, Education and Retention. And what we are is a retention project that helps students from the Southeast Asian community basically graduate and hopefully we hope to empower students in developing holistically and also uh, just overall just having a good time in their experiences at UCLA. Uh, what I personally think is cool about CClear and my experiences is that they really value student input um, from whoever. It doesn't mean that you have to be on staff. Uh, you could just be a student walking down and we'll, they'll always take your input. Uh, another thing that's cool, like in sessions, is that you're basically just talking to a friend. And, you know, <laughs> I mean, it's just cool because you could talk about academics. You could talk about, you know, the social aspects of your life. You could talk about your family. You could talk about serious stuff. But it doesn't always have to be serious. And I, that's why I think it's cool. Yeah, personally for me, I think Seekler has been a big effect of my life. That's why I'm a part of Seekler staff. Same with Andy. He's a coordinator. True, true. Word, peace out. <laughs> project created by BSU in around 1999-ish um, to really try to work with high school students um, in disadvantaged schools and get them into the university, get them into higher education. Um, it's also a really good opportunity for BSU and for the, for the students population on campus to work with um, the youth in their population um, and really just foster a lot of leadership, community awareness, the high school conference is very popular. It brings in about 200 students from around. Um, at the high school conference, um, the students get to participate in a number of workshops ranging from stuff about leadership, leadership skills, and um, also just trying to get into college. What are the what's the application process? What are the eligibility requirements? Um, and they get to see a little bit of UCLA, a campus tour, eat at the dorms hang out with UCLA students because they're so cool um, and just have fun and get to know students from other schools. Hi, my name is Ben Wu. I'm actually the impact coordinator for the 2000-2003 year for uh, VSU and VRAC. And a little history about uh, impact tutorials is that it originally started in the 1980s with VRAC tutorials and recently evolved into impact tutorials. And we served the uh, Hawthorne community and it's um, specifically a school called Prairie Vista. And the purpose of our program is to not only educate and empower our students, but we're also serving students from a lower socioeconomic background that don't live as privileged life as other people. Another goal of ours is also to get them into college, you know, to strive for the higher education, to make sure they don't set their sights, set their goals too low, and to be able to know that they can go to college. And the future of impact, I believe, lies within the students that we serve and the tutors that we bring out. Not only do we serve Vietnamese Americans and Vietnamese people in general, or Asian people in general, we also serve the African American community, the Latino, Latinas. And we, we try to like embody this sense of diversity because we believe that that's just where the future of the Vietnamese, Vietnamese community lies, and not in these alliances that we will build through the people. My name is Matthew Nguyen, I'm, I'm the Community Health Coordinator for VSU. Um, VRAC first started off as the Vietnamese Community Health Development Project uh, in 1996. It was meant to help out the refugees who first came over here and to educate them about health related problems. Today it has turned into more of community based work and to help out the students here at UCLA. The things we have done in the past few years are bone rail drives with A3M. Um, health fairs with other projects here at UCLA and upcoming events or new projects that we're working on now are our mentorship program and our website online database. And UC Ed is 23 years old. I think a lot of directors would agree with me on this that Culture Night was a love and hate relationship. There were times <laughs> when like it w there was just so much pressure to expectations and reach the standards of the previous years and so many people involved so many people you have to sometimes deal with um, and accommodate to that it gets really hectic and you know there are a lot of low points but then there are also a lot of the other parts 
where people are so, like the enthusiasm, their energy and their passion for it, it's contagious, like it melts over to you and it makes you more passionate about it as well and it keeps up that drive that makes you want to reach that goal and, and make the show awesome. Oh, I was going to say that like, with this year in particular, it was very discouraging with um, our co-director's death. Um, I think at one point, I didn't tell Terry this, but I'm pretty sure she felt it the same way that I just wanted to give up because it's like, what can we do, you know? Like, emotionally we were so drained with his passing, but, you know, chatting online, talking to all the other coordinators, like, and reading all this email from the cast members and the other coordinators that they have all, all of a sudden been so like inspired to to make this culture night you know the best night for him because we were dedicating it to him and I think that made a big difference it's, it's the energy you feel from everybody that really made that night possible so it's been I mean it, it was hard but the, the, the really wonderful bittersweet moments outweigh the hard times Hello, my name is Terry Liu. I am the director, co-director for Culture Night and Cafe Am. I'll be talking about Cafe Am. Cafe Am is uh, an event that VSU holds where it's a venue for talent. Cafe Am is an event that we hold at the end of the year in spring quarter. And it's a night where we have different students from VSU display their talents and abilities such as dancing or singing or playing a musical instrument or even like whatever they want, anything that they want to show on stage for the rest of their peers. So <laughs> it's, it's a venue where you would sit around and relax and enjoy the show and enjoy each other's company. and obvious youth the festival coordinator and I have known a coordinator who unfortunately cannot be here which is Mary Tran and uh, this year is our fourth annual death festival which we will do with VNLC that apparently is one of our most important holiday in Vietnamese culture and what we want to do in the death festival is try to recapture what it means to have a death holiday uh, we want to introduce a different tradition so that like um, other people, non-Vietnamese, can understand about culture and would also reach to our own Vietnamese. Um, this year we're going to have the culture show. We're different going to talk about different traditions that we celebrate on that. And uh, we're going to have the traditional dance, which is uh, the dance by the minority people on the highland of Vietnam. And uh, we also have the lion dance. Um, martial art fashion show which is a uh, half uh, traditional and half modern and uh, we're gonna have instrument instrument playing which is playing um, traditional instrument uh, which is uh, and and we also have games and the uh, decoration gonna be really festive so people would feel like you know new year happy. My name is Lisa and I am the, this year's intern for the Advocacy Political Chair as well as VOICE. VOICE stands for Vietnamese Outreach to Initiate Change and Empowerment. Part of this component is to be the liaison between VSU and the Asian Pacific Coalition. And we have three focuses. Um, the first is for equal access to education. The second is human rights in Vietnam such as religious freedom and the third are labor rights for our community in America. Two of the events that Voice puts on are the Tin Min Lee commemoration and the Black April commemoration. Tin Min Lee was president uh, here at UCLA in 92. And in, 96, in 1996, he was murdered uh, while rollerblading in Tustin. Um, his murder was then later um, described as a hate crime. And our commemoration is a chance for us 
to bring up the issue of hate crimes and to let the community aware, um, become more aware that they still do exist and it's not just an isolated issue and it still affects our community. The Black April commemoration is a chance to commemorate um, the fall of Saigon and to let members of our community and members outside our community know what happened that day, April 30th, 1979. It's a forum to talk about human rights, about religious freedom. My name is Tao. Um, I'm this year's ICC rep, and I'm also the ICC chair. Uh, what ICC stands for is the Intercollegiate Council. Um, in the previous years, it was more well known as Alliance. What ICC is is a network of the ten different campuses around Southern California, ranging from San Diego, UC San Diego, to UC Santa Barbara, and most of the campus in between. Um, each school sends at least one representative to the council and um, we do a wide array of events but mostly we do social events. Um, ICC is under the, um, the guidance of UVSA which is the Union of Vietnamese Student Associations. We are a part of them and they are sort of the overarching umbrella and um, we do more social events so that the members of all the schools and their staff members can get together in a, a very um, uplifting social atmosphere to know each other, to establish um, a kind of support network system between the schools. We're reaching out into um, doing community service events, but in the future hopefully we can um, step into that realm and do more political activities between the schools.